Jessica and Elmer had been married for 18 years. Their marriage had been relatively stable, but over the past year, Jessica had felt an increasing sense of boredom and dissatisfaction. She had been working long hours at her job, and Elmer had been preoccupied with his new business venture. The emotional distance between them had grown, and Jessica found herself daydreaming about new experiences and excitement. One evening, after a particularly stressful day, Jessica approached Elmer as he was working in his home office. The room was dimly lit, the only light coming from the glow of his laptop screen. Elmer was hunched over his desk, typing furiously, the furrows on his forehead deepening with each keystroke. Elmer, can we talk? Jessica's voice was trembling slightly as she stood at the doorway, her hands clasped nervously in front of her. Elmer looked up from his laptop, surprised by the seriousness in her tone. Sure, Jessica, what's on your mind? He asked, pushing his glasses up the bridge of his nose. Jessica took a deep breath trying to steady her nerves. She felt a knot in her stomach as she chose her words carefully. I've been thinking a lot about our relationship and how we've been drifting apart, she began, her voice wavering. I love you, but I feel like we need something to shake things up. I want to suggest something unconventional. Elmer's eyebrows furrowed in confusion, and he leaned back in his chair, crossing his arms over his chest. What do you mean? he asked his tone a mix of curiosity and apprehension. I want to open our marriage, Jessica said, her voice firmer now. Just for one night. I want to explore, to feel something different. I think it could help us find our way back to each other. The words hung in the air, and Elmer stared at her, stunned. You want to sleep with someone else? And you think that's going to help our marriage? His voice was tinged with disbelief and hurt. It's not about the sex, Elmer, Jessica pleaded taking a step closer to him. It's about experiencing something new, feeling alive again. I promise it's just one night. No strings attached. Elmer took a deep breath, considering her words. Part of him felt betrayed, but another part of him saw an opportunity. The idea of Jessica wanting to sleep with someone else was a blow to his ego, but there was a small, dark part of him that saw potential in this proposal. Okay, Jessica, he finally said his voice measured. If that's what you want, we can try it. But remember, this goes both ways. Jessica's eyes widened with a mix of surprise and relief. She hadn't expected Elmer to agree so readily. Thank you, Elmer. I really think this could help us, she said, her voice softening. The days following Jessica's proposal were tense, filled with unspoken questions and awkward silences. They avoided each other's gaze at breakfast, and their conversations were brief and superficial. Despite the tension, they were determined to follow through with the plan. One evening, they sat down in the living room to establish the ground rules. Elmer had a notepad, and Jessica sipped nervously on a glass of wine. Okay, Elmer began, breaking the silence. We need to set some clear rules. We have to be honest and transparent about everything. Jessica nodded, grateful for the structure. Agreed. No secrets. We have to tell each other who we're meeting and where. Elmer jotted down a few notes. And it's just one night. No emotional attachments. No follow-ups. This is a one-time thing. Right? Jessica replied, trying to ignore the knot in her stomach. And we should check in with each other the next morning, to talk about how it went. Good idea, Elmer said, his voice steady. Anything else? Jessica hesitated before speaking. We should choose our partners carefully. No strangers. It has to be someone we trust. Elmer looked at her thoughtfully, then nodded. Agreed. Someone we trust. With the rules set, they both felt a sense of relief, though the underlying tension remained. Jessica couldn't believe Elmer had agreed so readily, but she was too excited to question his motives. In the following days, Jessica reconnected with Chris, an old flame from college, through social media. They exchanged messages, reminiscing about old times, and soon their conversations turned flirtatious. Chris was intrigued by Jessica's proposal, and they made plans to meet at a downtown hotel. Elmer, meanwhile, reached out to Lisa, Jessica's best friend. He had always sensed a mutual attraction between them, though neither had acted on it. When he proposed the idea, Lisa was initially shocked but eventually agreed. Her curiosity peaked. The night of their agreement arrived and Jessica felt a mix of excitement 
and nerves as she got ready. She chose a sleek black dress, applied her makeup carefully, and checked her reflection in the mirror. Her heart pounded with anticipation. I'm heading out, she called to Elmer, who was lounging on the couch, scrolling through his phone. Elmer looked up and gave her a tight smile. Have fun, Jessica. Remember, we'll talk when you get back. Jessica nodded, trying to quell the guilt gnawing at her. She grabbed her purse and left the house, her mind racing with thoughts of the night ahead. As Jessica drove to the bar to meet Chris, she replayed their conversations in her mind. She remembered their passionate moments from college and felt a thrill of excitement. This was her chance to feel alive again, to escape the monotony of her daily life. Back at home, Mark watched her go, his expression unreadable. He picked up his phone and sent a message to Lisa, she's gone. I coming over now? As he waited for Lisa's reply, Mark felt a strange sense of satisfaction. He had agreed to Sarah's proposal, but he had his own plans. Plans that would ensure he came out on top, no matter what happened next. Jessica and Chris met at a trendy downtown bar. The atmosphere buzzed with energy, the dim lighting and upbeat music setting the perfect backdrop for their rendezvous. As soon as Jessica spotted Chris, her heart skipped a beat. He looked as handsome as ever, his confident smile instantly putting her at ease. Jessica, it's so good to see you. You look amazing, Chris said, pulling her into a warm hug. The familiar scent of his cologne brought back a flood of memories from their college days. Thanks, it's great to see you too, Chris, Jessica replied, her voice tinged with nervousness. They started with drinks, clinking their glasses together as they caught up on old times. The conversation flowed effortlessly, laughter punctuating their stories as they reminisced about their wild adventures in college. Jessica felt a rush of excitement she hadn't experienced in years, a sense of freedom and exhilaration. Remember that time we snuck into the campus pool at midnight? Chris asked, his eyes sparkling with mischief. Jessica laughed, shaking her head. How could I forget? We almost got caught by campus security. As the evening progressed, they moved to the dance floor. The music pulsed through the room, and Jessica felt the beat resonate deep within her. She and Chris danced like they were in their 20s again, their bodies moving in perfect sync. The chemistry between them was electric, an undeniable spark that reignited with every touch and glance. After hours of dancing and drinking, they decided to leave the bar. Chris took Jessica's hand leading her to a luxurious hotel nearby. They checked in, their anticipation building with each passing moment. Inside the hotel room, the tension and horniness between them finally reached its peak, where they spent the evening talking, laughing, and reminiscing. The chemistry between them was undeniable, and soon they found themselves caught up in a whirlwind of passion. Jessica felt a sense of liberation she hadn't experienced in years. At meanwhile, Elmer and Lisa were embarking on their own adventure. They met at a fancy restaurant, the ambience elegant and intimate. Elmer couldn't help but feel a twinge of nervousness as he greeted Lisa, but her warm smile quickly put him at ease. Thanks for coming, Lisa, Elmer said, his tone sincere. Of course, Elmer. This is unusual, but I'm glad you reached out. This place is beautiful, Lisa replied, looking around the restaurant appreciatively. I thought you'd like it. Elmer replied, smiling. I've heard great things about the food here. They settled into their seats, the conversation flowing effortlessly. Elmer was surprised at how easy it was to talk to Lisa, how much they had in common. They discussed everything from work to hobbies, finding a natural rhythm in their dialogue. As the evening wore on, they shared stories and laughter, their connection deepening with each passing moment. Elmer found himself drawn to Lisa in a way he hadn't expected her presence comforting and intriguing at the same time. Remember when we went hiking last summer? Lisa asked, her eyes lighting up at the memory. That was such a fun day. How could I forget? You practically dragged me up that mountain, Elmer replied, chuckling. After dinner, they decided to take a walk, the night air cool and refreshing. The city lights twinkled around them as they strolled, their hands occasionally brushing against each other. The casual touches sent a thrill through Elmer, heightening his anticipation for what was to come. Eventually, they made their way back to Lisa's house. The atmosphere between them was charged with unspoken desire, 
a mutual understanding of where the night was heading. Inside, they poured themselves a glass of wine, the conversation continuing as they relaxed on the couch. Meanwhile, Jessica's night with Chris was coming to an end. They lay in bed, exhausted and satisfied, and Jessica couldn't help but feel a mix of emotions. She had enjoyed the evening, but she also felt a pang of guilt and uncertainty about what she did. In Lisa's house, she leaned in closer to Elmer. The mood shifted as the night deepened, the air thick with tension, her eyes locking onto his. Elmer, I've been wanting to tell you something, she began, her voice soft. What is it, Lisa? Elmer asked, his heartbeat quickening. I've always felt a connection with you. Even before tonight, she admitted, her cheeks flushing slightly. Elmer reached out, gently taking her hand. I feel the same way, Lisa, he confessed, his voice barely above a whisper. The admission hung in the air for a moment before they closed the distance between them. Their kiss was tentative at first, but it quickly deepened, fueled by the emotions they had kept hidden for so long. They moved to the bedroom, where their night took a passionate turn, each moment more intense than the last. For both Jessica and Elmer, the night was a whirlwind of emotions and sensations. As dawn approached, Jessica lay beside Chris, her mind racing with thoughts of what the day would bring. She had experienced the thrill she had been seeking, but now she had to face the consequences of their agreement. Elmer, too, found himself reflecting on the night as he lay beside Lisa. He had discovered a connection with her that went beyond physical attraction, a bond that complicated the situation even further. As the sun rose, both Jessica and Elmer knew that their lives had been irrevocably changed by their wild nights. The true test would come when they faced each other again, ready to deal with the aftermath of their choices. The next morning, Jessica woke up in the hotel room feeling a strange mixture of exhilaration and guilt. The previous night's passion with Chris lingered in her mind, but a heavy weight of dread settled in her chest as she thought about facing Elmer. She reached for her phone on the nightstand and saw a message from Elmer. Call me when you're on your way home. Her heart pounded as she read the words. She knew this moment would come, but she hadn't prepared for the flood of emotions that hit her now. She quickly got dressed, kissed Chris goodbye, and left the hotel, her mind a whirlwind of thoughts and fears. Driving home, Jessica rehearsed how she would tell Elmer about her night. She hoped he would understand hoped that their agreement would mean they could move past this. As she pulled into the driveway, she took a deep breath, steeling herself for the conversation. When she opened the front door, the house was eerily silent. Elmer, she called out, but there was no response. A sinking feeling gnawed at her stomach. She glanced around the empty living room, her anxiety growing with each passing second. Just then, her phone buzzed with an incoming video call from Elmer. She answered, her hands trembling. Elmer, where are you? Her phone rang. Elmer's face appeared on the screen, his expression cold and distant. Jessica, you have one hour to pack your stuff and get out, he said flatly. Jessica's heart dropped, her breath catching in her throat. What? Why? What are you talking about? The camera angle shifted, and Jessica's eyes widened in horror as she saw Lisa lying in bed next to Elmer, both of them naked. Lisa smirked, her voice dripping with venom. Your hubby is so talented. He is mine now, bitch. Jessica's knees buckled, and she collapsed to the floor, tears streaming down her face. Please, Elmer, don't do this. I'm sorry. I never meant for things to go this far. Elmer's expression remained unmoved, his eyes cold and unfeeling. You wanted this, Jessica. Now you have to live with the consequences. I don't care about your apologies. I have everything I need now. By the way, I feel Lisa is better than you. I want to divorce you. I will send the documents. The screen went dark, leaving Jessica sobbing on the floor, her mind reeling from the betrayal. She couldn't believe what had just happened. The man she loved, the man she thought she could trust, had turned her world upside down in the most devastating way possible. Desperately, she tried to gather her thoughts but the pain and shock were overwhelming. She had never imagined Elmer would do something like this, that he would retaliate so cruelly. The reality of her situation began to sink in, and she realized she had no choice but to leave. With shaky hands, Jessica began packing her belongings. 
Each item she placed in her suitcase felt like a piece of her heart being ripped away. Memories of their life together flooded her mind, and the pain of losing everything she had known and loved was almost unbearable. As she packed, she thought about how they had reached this point. The arguments, the emotional distance, her desperate attempt to reignite the spark in their marriage, all of it had led to this moment. She couldn't help but feel a deep sense of regret for suggesting the open marriage in the first place. An hour later, Jessica stood in the doorway, her suitcase beside her. She took one last look at the home she had shared with Elmer, the life they had built together now reduced to a pile of broken dreams. With a heavy heart, she stepped outside and closed the door behind her. As she walked away, Jessica felt a mix of anger, sorrow, and betrayal. She knew she had made mistakes, but she never expected Elmer to retaliate with such cruelty. The image of Lisa in their bed, mocking her, burned in her mind, fueling her resolve to move on and rebuild her life. She got into her car and drove away, tears blurring her vision. The pain was raw and intense, but she knew she had to find a way to move forward. Elmer's cold words echoed in her mind. You wanted this, Jessica. Now you have to live with the consequences. Jessica drove aimlessly for hours, trying to process the events of the morning. She knew she had a long road ahead of her, filled with challenges and heartache. But she also knew that she couldn't let this define her. She had to find the strength to rise above the betrayal and rebuild her life from the ground up. As the sun began to set, Jessica found herself at a small, quiet park. She parked the car and got out, taking a deep breath of the cool evening air. She walked to a bench and sat down, letting the peaceful surroundings calm her racing thoughts. In that moment, she made a silent promise to herself. She would survive this. She would find a way to heal, to move on, and to reclaim her happiness. It wouldn't be easy, but she was determined to prove that she was stronger than the pain that had been inflicted upon her. With a newfound resolve, Jessica wiped away her tears and stood up. She had a long journey ahead, but she was ready to face it head on. Elmer may have shattered her heart, but he hadn't broken her spirit. She would rise from the ashes of their broken marriage and emerge stronger than ever before. Meanwhile, Elmer and Lisa began a new chapter of their lives together. The bond they had discovered during their night of passion grew stronger, and they found comfort and companionship in each other. Elmer moved into Lisa's house, and together, they started planning their future. Their days were filled with excitement as they discussed their dreams, from traveling the world to starting a family. Elmer felt a sense of vindication, believing he had turned Jessica's request for an open marriage into his own form of justice. For Elmer, each step forward with Lisa was a reminder of the power he had taken back. He relished the sense of control, feeling he had finally gotten even with Jessica for the hurt she had caused. Their wedding was a modest but joyous affair surrounded by close friends and family who supported their union. Elmer felt a twisted sense of satisfaction, knowing that he had transformed his pain into something he considered a new beginning. Jessica, on the other hand, struggled to rebuild her life. She found temporary shelter with a friend, but the weight of her mistakes haunted her every waking moment. The image of Lisa and Elmer together, their cruel words echoing in her mind, tormented her relentlessly. She tried reaching out to Elmer, desperate for forgiveness, but each call went unanswered, each message left on read. The silence from Elmer was a constant reminder of her downfall. Karma had indeed hit her hard, and Jessica found herself grappling with the consequences of her actions. She sought solace in therapy, hoping to understand the reasons behind her choices and to find a path to healing. The process was slow and painful filled with moments of intense self-reflection and regret. Jessica took on a new job to support herself, throwing herself into her work as a means of distraction. She rented a small apartment, its bare walls and minimal furnishings a stark contrast to the home she had shared with Elmer. Nights were the hardest, the loneliness creeping in as she lay in bed, replaying the events that had led to her current situation. In her search for redemption, Jessica volunteered at local charities, hoping to make a positive impact and to atone for the hurt she had caused. She joined support groups, sharing her story with others who had experienced similar betrayals, finding some semblance of comfort in the shared pain and understanding. Over time, 
Jessica began to rebuild her social life, reconnecting with old friends and making new ones. She found strength in their support, realizing that while she had lost a great deal, she still had people who cared about her and believed in her ability to overcome her past. Despite her efforts, the guilt and regret never fully dissipated. Each day was a struggle to move forward, to let go of the past, and to embrace a future that seemed uncertain. Jessica knew she had to carry the weight of her actions, but she also knew that she couldn't let them define her. She had to find a way to forgive herself, even if Elmer never would. Years passed, they got divorced, and Jessica slowly began to find a sense of peace. She continued her work, built a modest but fulfilling life, and learned to appreciate the small moments of joy that came her way. The pain of her past still lingered, but it no longer controlled her. She had found a way to coexist with it, to acknowledge its presence without letting it dominate her every thought. As for Elmer and Lisa, their life together flourished. They welcomed a child into their family, their home filled with love and laughter. Elmer often thought about Jessica, but his feelings were complicated. There was still a part of him that felt the sting of betrayal, but he also recognized the role he had played in their downfall. In the end, all three had been irrevocably changed by the events that had unfolded. They had each found their own way to move forward, carrying the scars of their past, but also the lessons learned. Life, with its twists and turns, had pushed them to their limits, but it had also shown them the strength they possessed to endure and to grow. Jessica realized that the pursuit of momentary excitement could never compare to the depth and fulfillment of true love and fidelity. The lessons she had learned were etched into her soul, guiding her as she navigated the complexities of life. She had found strength in her solitude, resilience in her pain, and wisdom in her experiences. The memories of her past, though bittersweet, served as a reminder of the person she had become. Jessica had discovered that the true essence of love lay not in fleeting thrills, but in the enduring bonds of trust, loyalty, and commitment. And with that understanding, she faced the future with hope, knowing that she had the power to create a life filled with meaning and purpose, one step at a time.